Good afternoon everybody. I hope everyone's doing well and I'm just going to give you a bit of show and tell and some story and some background today. As you will probably be aware if you've watched some of our other videos, my husband and I have got four adult children, three of which still live at home with us. Our oldest son Lachlan moved into his own place about two years ago now and he's enjoying living with some friends of his as every 23 and a half year old does. So we still have living in home with us, our oldest daughter, Madeline. She's 22 and she's just finishing her medical science degree. She'll graduate at the end of this year. And then next we've got our daughter, Savannah, who's engaged to Ryan. They're getting married in April next year. However, they're saving to buy a house. So we've agreed that they can stay here and live with us until they have a deposit for a house. Yes, yes, I know, as long as they really do save, but that'll come after the wedding. Then we have our youngest son, Cade, who is 19 years old, and his partner, Nicole, she lives here with us as well. So we have around seven people. Now, Madeline's boyfriend, Jake, comes and goes. They spend time between here and his parents' house, because he still lives at home as well. But we have between seven and eight people here on a regular basis, and our house isn't very big. And I just thought I'd give you a bit of a tour and show you what we have. We shall be moving next year because we've come to the conclusion that if Savannah and Ryan are going to stay with us for another year or so, we need to get a bigger house. We've sort of outgrown this one as the partners have moved in. And I love this house, but unfortunately, our plans for going smaller are going to have to be put on hold until Savannah and Ryan probably buy their own house. So come with me and let's have a look around our house. This is gonna be a very real look around our house. I haven't tidied up. This is very much who we are and how we live. So behind me here, I have our living room and our kitchen. I'll let you guys have a look. As you can see, it's not particularly big. I have candles going there. This is our living space where all seven of us share. We only have one living space. All right, next we will move, watching out that I don't trip over and trying to be mindful of keeping light in my face. We'll move over toward the dining room and the kitchen area. This is our dining room area. It flows on from the living room and it joins the kitchen. And yes, I'm sorry, our kitchen is a mess. Our dishwasher isn't working properly, which in a big family makes us really struggle. We don't have a large yard. What we've got outside is quite simple, but it works, sorry, but it works really well for us. So let me show you out here. This is our pergola area. It's very small, but we like it. It makes it lovely entertaining out here. It's nice, it's bright, it's fairly cool. Over here, we still have the gazebo up from Savannah and Ryan's engagement party and it will stay up apparently because Savannah and Ryan are having a Halloween party soon. In, not this weekend, but next weekend. So I'll show you some footage of that hopefully. So that's our backyard. That's literally all we've got. All right, as we walk up the hallway, you'll have to excuse the lighting. The lighting will change depending on whereabouts in the house I am. It's gonna get a bit darker here. Let me just see if I can switch some lights on come back this way with me okay coming up the hallway now past the kitchen there the hallway here we just have a laundry and an extra toilet and then as we move further up the hallway we have my bedroom with its robe and bathroom Okay, and then we'll come further up the stairs. We've got a split level house. It has about eight stairs in the middle. And we have a courtyard area out here. It's just a small courtyard area. We've got it netted in so our cats can't get out. And that gives us a safe area for the cats. Now here we've got Cade Nicole's room. You've seen this before because Nicole has done a cleaning video. And you've got their gorgeous cat Tigger asleep on the floor. Okay, up here, linen cupboard here, very small linen cupboard for so many people. Coming up further into the dark again, Ooh, now to the bright, we've got the kids bathroom. 
it is a really fantastic space here it's a big bath shower combined nice and bright excellent kit bathroom next off we have Savannah and Ryan's room let's see if Ryan's home from work all right guys this is Savannah and Ryan's room they are really struggling to store all of their stuff it's a bit tricky it's not a big room Ryan's asleep he's not feeling very well right now the poor guy so Ryan we will leave you in peace mm -hmm. all right further up the hallway toward our front door you've got our front door there we have got a steep driveway as you guys would have seen in other videos that I've done for you then we're coming up to the last bedroom in the house and this is our oldest daughter Maddie's bedroom. Her bedroom is fairly tidy. Actually normally it's a lot tidier than this, she'll be quite horrified when she realises I've done this. She's a good artist. Here are some of the works that she's done. This is her first ever oil painting. It'll stay. That's her first ever attempt at using oils, I think it's fantastic. If you don't know us very well, you'll know that Madeline Savannah both went to a creative industry school. So they both specialised in fine art. Just coming back outside now that we've done the kids' bedrooms. This is our front lawn. We don't have much of a front lawn. It's fantastic if you come this way from our driveway. We basically just have... A small courtyard in which Ryan is storing some bike parts or some car parts and then our steep driveway so guys that is actually our entire house except we do have a single garage which is right there and I'll come back in and I'll show you what's in the garage because we can't use the garage for cars we've had to use it for extra storage space because we don't have much room unfortunately so as we come this way you've got the courtyard again and now you have the garage let me show you this this is our single car garage savannah and ryan bought a lounge and so they are storing it in here we have an extra fridge because the one we've got in our kitchen is tiny and can't possibly fit ryan has his tv here so they can use this for viewing but as there's no tv connection and no internet connection here it can be a bit limited as to what they can do as you can see we actually live in a really small house for having so many of us here it has become to the point where we're having to come up with creative storage ideas in fact savannah and ryan have bought a small dresser and it sits out in our dining room and we use it to store savannah's clothes in but we also have things on top of it so it doesn't look too out of place, just um, a little bit awkward. But we've had to become resourceful because fitting two adults into non-master bedrooms can be a bit of a challenge, especially when they come in bringing all of their other stuff with them. So our children already had fully fitted out bedrooms and was full of their stuff. Then to bring a partner stuff in has created probably just too much we just can't cope with this anymore so we will have to move next year unfortunately we're not looking forward to that but it will be better Russell and I had hoped to actually downsize and buy a unit at some point in time particularly as my health has deteriorated a little and my mobility isn't that good but it's not going to look like that that's going to be possible we're actually going to have to go to a bigger house and within that we're going to be relying on the kids more as adult children to pull more of a house share arrangement more than living with parents arrangement because Russell does work full time I'm at home I'm unable to do a full at home load because my body just won't allow it my health won't allow it which is the sad truth of it all so when we move the kids are going to have to pick up and start to do more like a share house which I think will be a really interesting experience for them when they stop having mum and dad pick up after them etc we have implemented that to a degree here they all do their own washing and have done their own washing for quite a few years which is fantastic we do have a bit of a roster system people do help with taking out the garbage doing the dishes Savannah's been fantastic even though she works full-time she has has taken on most of the dinner preparation which has made my life a lot better because standing for any prolonged period of time really 
can be awkward for me. I don't stand well due to my spinal injury. So, and doing it from a wheelchair in this house is just too impractical. So I do have to have help and Savannah's really picked up the ball and started cooking the meals for us. But other than that, guys, you've seen where we live. Leave us your comments. We'd love to get to know you better. We will keep you involved in our moving process. We'll probably have a huge clean out and throw out rubbish and just try and downsize a little. The interesting part will be we hope to get multiple living rooms. So Savannah and Ryan can use their couch where um, Kate and Nicole can hopefully have a living area. Russell, Maddie and I will share a living area. We'll keep you updated and we'll show you any houses that we potentially look at. I hope you guys have had a great day and I'll see you again in my next vlog.